What's up, guys? Joji just released a new track today called Slow Dancing in the Dark. Um, I am a huge Joji fan. It is awesome that he's released a new single. He released Yeah Right earlier this year, um, along with releasing his Deluxe in Tongues EP. But that was really just his EP with older songs he released before he really started taking everything serious and um, with some remixes in it. So it wasn't really a full-length album. So with Yeah Right and Slow Dancing in the Dark, I mean, you're getting a few singles that are probably going to be in his full-length album. I really, really really liked yeah right that was a really good track and you know joji i had the lyrics pulled up too so i'm going to be reading the lyrics along with him singing because he has he has a way of keeping the lyrics deep but minimal at the same time so i'm going to be reading that as we're watching the video i'll be stopping it trying to analyze the verses and um just yeah let's let's just get right into it I really like this synth feel he's going with in this song. It has that um, it has that video game style, like Final Fantasy, Legend of Zelda, Great Fairy Fountain style, you know, along with this nice 80s synth wave. I really, really dig that. I like that a lot. Sally's so he's hurting in the video, as always. So right there he goes, I don't want a friend I want my life into. Just one more night waiting to get there, waiting for you. So that's obviously, he doesn't want another friend. He wants this person to to make his life in two. He wants this person to share his life with. And just one more night waiting to get there, waiting for you. And it feels like he's kind of like just giving kind of like the ultimatum in his head, which is I feel like we all need to kind of do if we're going through similar situations with wanting to be somebody, but they're not really wanting to be with us. And he's just like waiting to get there, waiting for you just one more night. And he's like, I'm done fight it all night. So at this point, he's done. He's he's ready to to let it go, but he's still just giving it one more shot. So uh, I think everybody's kind of been in like a similar situation like that, of course. So right there, he says, when I'm around slow dancing in the dark, don't follow me. You'll end up in my arms. You have made up your mind. I don't need no more signs. Can you? So that's just when I'm around being to myself, don't follow me because you'll just end up right back into me. You'll you'll follow me and you'll come to me with, with just these words of encouragement and these words that you want to be with me but you have already made up your mind. Like I already established that you have already made up your mind and I don't really need any more signs from this. I don't need you to give me mixed signals. So can you? Can you just stop? Or can you just make up your mind? Pretty much that's where that pre-chorus is leading into. And I don't know if this is like Joji's interpretation. This is just my own personal interpretation of these lyrics when I'm reading it. I feel like most songs are open interpretation because that's how they always affect everybody differently because you take it a different way than what the artist meant. And that's not a that's not a bad thing either. It's just it's a nice to know the emotions that they go through as well. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a genius video for this that's gonna explain the lyrics and all this stuff like that. But for right now, I'm gonna be the genius, baby. All right, so let's get into the chorus right now.
That is a powerful chorus. Just like his just vocal, him going into that high and then going into that raspy in the dark. And the lyrics really convey these emotions too. It's, give me reasons we should be complete. You should be with them, I can't compete. You looked at me like I was someone else. Oh well. Can't you see I don't want to slow dance in the dark? That is good lyrics. You know, give me reasons we should be complete. Give me reasons we should be together. You should be with them. I can't compete. All the other people that this person talks to, it's just you have it in your mindset because they're being so undecisive. Because they're being so undecisive, it's like you should be with them because I can't compete. I don't want to compete at this point, you know? And you looked at me like I was someone else. So in the public, you're looking at me differently and you're talking with me differently than we talk in the dark we talk then we talk in private and he just says i don't want to slow dance in the dark which is interprets as i don't want to do this in the dark i want you to be mine i want you to be with me really good stuff i really really like that so then the next is up is gonna be the verse two when you gotta run just hear my voice dark video so right there when you gotta run just hear my voice in you shutting me out of you doing so great so this is the so he's getting to the point now to where he's like okay when you gotta run when you're gonna be away from me you're gonna hear my voice you're gonna you're gonna think of me but this is going to be me shutting myself out from you. So I don't want to let myself back in. And I'm going to be doing so great. That's the way I interpreted those lyrics. It's like the second verse is just when he's just kind of like just done with it. And just ready to kind of just move on. Used to be the So this one right here is is it's kind of like it's mixed emotions. I mean, when we're going through feelings with somebody, it's always going to be mixed emotions. One day you're going to be done with them. The next day you're going to be like, OK, I still want to be with you. So it's, it says used to be the one to hold you when you fall. I don't fuck with your tone. I don't want to go home. Can it be one night? So it's kind of like, you know, uh, we're talking. I'm here. I'm not liking your tone, but I still don't want to go home. So can it just be one night? So it's kind of like one of those let's fuck kind of nights. You know, it's just kind of like, just like, can it be, let me, let me just experience these feelings again. Because regardless of how everything feels, you still want to keep that connection you know it's it's hard it's a hard thing to shut people out and want to be out of somebody's life when they are you know when they hurt you but sometimes you just can't really help it you know you just can't it's just it's it, the emotions and the, the the stuff in your brain that just takes over for you to want to continue doing that going to the same chorus
okay, I really, really liked it. And I like the video, the way they decided to go into the video. The video is dealing with more of betrayal. That's why he has the arrow in his back, and he views himself as something that, that's lesser. That's why he's this half-beast, half-man in the video. And it's kind of like, I can't compete with them. I'm view, I view myself as something different that that isn't what you find attractive and stuff like that. It's a very, I mean, I love the way Joji pieces together his videos and his songs all the time. Solid track. Solid, solid track from Joji. I really, really enjoy it. Like I said, he just has a way to be minimal with his lyrics, but they are still very impactful at the same time. So, all right, well, that was my lyric analysis and my, I don't even know what to call it, reaction if you guys liked what you saw, please don't forget to hit that sub button. And I also ha I also stream on Twitch if you guys want to follow me on Twitch. All the links will be down below, just like every other YouTuber does this. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. Have a great day.